So I know, where were you before working with us? Like how, how long had you been unemployed? Do you, do you remember? Oh, a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. And why did yes. your last position end again? I don't remember. Uh, well, we got into some turmoil and, and, mm -hmm. um, and which is pretty uh, common. Yeah. And it was, it became not a good fit anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. So we had decided to just part ways mm -hmm. and uh, they, they got into some trouble because they couldn't figure out what I was doing and what I was working on and what I was not working mm -hmm. on. And they found out that I was working on all of it mm -hmm. and uh, decisions and that now, made from leadership. <laughs> yeah. But so, now, now you just got one of the biggest massive roles that we've seen yes. all year with McKesson. Yes. So how do you feel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, you know what? I, I, uh, I feel quite privileged. I am feeling humble. You know, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a path that I guess it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, I don't know. It's just like everybody asked me, well, how are you feeling about it? I said, well, I, I'm kind of speechless. I can't believe it, but, uh, I mean, you're I, literally it was talking Michael to, McNeil. yeah, yeah you're, it was, you're literally... but you know what, Tim, it's what I told Sanjeev. You want to know, well, how did this started with, Mac, uh, with McKesson? Did you know it was an, I am. And I told Kara, I said, how weird thing happened. I said, Michael McNeil, uh, I am. Ooh, if people don't Tim. know it's the yeah. chief cybersecurity officer for McKesson. Probably a guy that's pretty hard to get a hold of. Yes, he was the global chief information security officer. Something a dream of mine. I just thinking, oh my god, he's 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 uh, he's, he's says, talking you, to are, me. Will you be interested in a job, in a position? He said, a, a high ranking position. And I thought, well, of course I would. I like to hear about it. And I was very polite. Then he said, you know, I'm going to have HR contact you, and she did just like that that day. Wow, and that's, that's awesome. how it all started. I told I, I told Kara about it. And I thought, wow, you know what? <laughs> McKesson's getting a hold of me. <laughs> so be, be, before you got the job, though, Kara has an, another question for you. So, you know, you were only unemployed for a couple of weeks. So at what point did you say, you know, I need some help. I need to call on the pros. It, it, it kind of freaked me out because I didn't know how to approach LinkedIn. I didn't have mm -hmm. a whole lot of respect for it. And I'm going to be very straightforward yeah. with you. Yeah. It reminds me of a Facebook for professionals. And if you <laughs> search for my name on Facebook, you're going to find that I'm not there. You can't find me. Yeah. You're I, cyber security. You got to protect I'm an yourself. Engine. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I'm more dark web. And mm -hmm. I hate to tell you that, that, that I know that I need some help because I need to break out of that shell. Mm -hmm. And, uh, when I saw your your advertisement and how you wrote it, and I, mm -hmm. Tim, that's what kind of got me started. And then when I talked to you, I wasn't really sure. Remember, you and I mm -hmm. changed, and yeah. I thought, well. And I talked to my husband, and then we waited a little while, and I just thought, okay, you know, I tried to do it on my own. I thought, oh no, I don't know anything about this. Yeah. And I thought, I gotta move fast. Yeah. You know, what did I can't you find? What did you find most valuable about working with this? Was it the interview prep? Was it the scripts Everything. or? Everything, 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 yeah. because, it, you know, I started to hear all of the uh, banter that went on in those meetings that you're supposed to hear. Mm -hmm. And I started to realize, uh oh, I really don't know anything. I, mm -hmm. I really don't. And it, I have there's a good place to start. And mm -hmm. I think that's what woke me up. And, and then here, all of a sudden, everybody started to get a hold of me. And I was thinking, OK, how do you respond after a while? Am I doing something <laughs> wrong? And, mm -hmm. you know, it could it be my resume. Am I putting too little or too much? Mm -hmm. And. You know, and, and he, it turned out that your two pager turn. I had to add more because that's what mm -hmm. they asked me, and mm -hmm. I had to do it into a three pager to be very mm -hmm. explicit. That's what they wanted to see, mm -hmm. so they were happy with a three pager, but in the format that you designed. And I just yeah. thought, okay, I got to find a happy medium. <laughs> yeah, so but it was having someone kind of every step of the way for all of the the process, yes. right? Yeah, the hand holding. Yeah, and I, I needed it. I'm sorry, I I have that crutch. I, I needed oh. a crutch. Well, for a little great. while it, because I am an introvert uh, and I don't like talking a whole lot about me. I, I'd rather hear about you. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I think a lot of people struggle with this when they get late in their career and they've been so yes. successful and now they need help. Exactly. And they're like, like, where do I start? You know, it's kind of gets overwhelming exactly. as well. Absolutely. Yes. You, Absolutely. you feel kind of out of your comfort level because I mean, I, I can stand in front of a, a board of directors and talk to them. And I don't feel intimidated, just people. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's how I picture them. If you picture them in their underwear, how funny that would be. Right. <laughs> and so that's how I do. I laugh at those things in the same uh -huh. with the CEO and everything else. But yeah. uh, when it comes to just 
being assertive enough to go over there and to introduce yourself and say, okay, this is this. And you really don't know that person. You try to, because there's a lot of people that I even talked to care about that were think it was a dating site. You know, this is why I'm <laughs> glad I took my other picture off and I put this ugly one because I'm not being solicited anymore. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, Rachel, it's you just, know, and, you know, a lot of people will watch this and they're, they're not sure whether or not they should work with us. So, you know, what advice would you give someone who's maybe considering working with us? Well, I've been bragging a lot because um, every time I connect somebody with someone, I say, hey, we're part of Execu Upgrades. And mm -hmm. I'm going to brag about it because uh, if it weren't for all of you showing me the way, that path of, hey, this is career. This is monumental to to making an impact on your career. Do you want to move forward to break out of that shell? And I think mm -hmm. if you don't do it, it's more than worth the money as far as I'm concerned. This was money well spent. And uh, I don't regret it at all. I, I needed you guys and you guys were there. And I mean, Kara responded anytime I wanted to. I know Tim, you were busy too. And you hired more people. You probably need more. But let me tell you, <laughs> I got the attention I needed and the guidance. And uh, I, I hate to I hate to leave you guys because you're I'm gonna still use you as that crutch. I'm sorry, I can't leave <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, well, there. you brought up a good thing, which we tell everyone on their last link up with us, you know, which I know right. we're still gonna link up about a couple more things, but how important it is, your mindset's already, hey, you know what? I need to continue networking because the future's unknown. And more importantly, if you yes. want to move up that corporate ladder to eventually right. be the CISO of McKesson. You have to network with other leaders in your industry. They yes. have to know you. They have to know how valuable you are. So yes. I'm very, very happy that you have that in your mind right now that I yes. need to keep yes. doing this because it's super important. Yes, but I've been telling everybody, hey, you ought to join Exec Upgrades. I even had to talk to uh, um, others that, that are not really sure. And I told them to mm -hmm. contact you because I told them, how, how did you get in there? How did you get in there? And I thought, well, it's the whole navigation. They teach mm -hmm. you everything. Now they have it automated. And I said, and I, I need to get in there and get it automated. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know what? It's so efficient, you know, and yeah. uh, even um, um, Cheryl Cal Calsworth, Carswell, she's the one that gave me a walk through what she, how mm -hmm. she gets it. And then you showed your, mm -hmm. your example. And I just thought, no, I need that because, because yeah. I need it fast. And uh, I'm always going to stay a step ahead now and nothing's a guarantee and yep. you have to be mobile. Yep. So, and I was telling my husband about that. And my husband was the one that told me, you know what, after what's happened here, you know, you need to be always be ahead. prepared. Always I'm a military prepared. guy. Yes. Yes. Well, always. Well, awesome. well, thanks so much. We really thanks, appreciate Rachel. it. No.